Hey, it's me. Um, we're set up in a different position, so hopefully you'll be able to see me chopping up the wax. Excuse the mess in the background. I'm not going to clean today. It's not the day. Anyways, first before I start showing y'all how I cut my wax bricks and I cut bars because y'all know I mix. So, but first I'm going to tell you about the stuff I my video yesterday. I did mix the Make Waves and Iridescent Pearl. This is in Brock's room. It did amazing. It's still doing amazing and I love, love, love it. I know I would. And the Mineral Oasis and the Lush Gardenia that's in Elliot's room. Beautiful. This Lush Gardenia is way too strong for me. Like way floral, grandma, you know what I mean. But together it's just more of a Grandma's giving you a hug. I don't know. It's really pretty. And she likes it. So, okay. I need to chop up some more of that. Because that's probably all I'm going to use. I'm probably ever, not ever going to use a whole cube of Lush Gardenia, to be honest. Because anytime I mix something, for the most part, I never do, like, two full cubes. Because I change my wax so much and I really don't want to just waste it. So, usually I'll do, like, a half a cube. Like... And just you know, but I'll show you how I do it. Also, have the bricks. Also, the indigo indigo berries. I'm very impressed with. It is still going in my bedroom and my personal bathroom, and it's a solid scent. Like it's not real strong, but it lasts a long time. Um, and I didn't go nose blind to it. Like it's been a Netflix day, so I've been in my bed watching. Grey's Anatomy nonstop, and like it's one of those scents that I can just sit there and smell. You know what I mean? A lot of them I go nose blind to. Um, the Indigo Cotton, it's a pretty scent, but it's one of those that you have, like you get used to, or I do. I got used to it if you're in a room with it, but once you walk out and come back in, like it's doing good, but I just kind of got used to it. It's really, they're both pretty. So, um, <clears throat> anyways, I just want to do a quick little review on those. So, okay, one thing I want to talk about, about the wax in general, when you're cutting it, sometimes some wax is going to be easier to cut, like it's more juicy, I hate that word, but if it's more juicy, then it cuts a lot cleaner. Some of them, like these two new bricks I got, they're like more dry, so they like crumble a little bit more. And you'll get a lot more crumbling when you're cutting the small ones too. So that's just how that is. But like, this is a good example. This is pretty cool. Ow. This, ain't, this stuff will cut you if it's broken. But like this black raspberry vanilla one, like this is a good example of a juicy one. And like it just cut really well. So yeah, I'm going to cut up some more of that. I always like to keep quite a bit cut so that I can use it. If I cut... If it's, if it's a scent that I use alone usually, then I'll just cut like a big one into threes. But if it like, I mix this and I do it. So some of them I cut in threes and some I do like in fours so that I can like add different scents with it. Does that make sense? Okay. Anyways, so this one, for example, I usually just do this one on its own. This is the one of the holiday scents, the um, caramel sugar cookie, and it's a full brick, and I need to cut this one, so right now's a good time. So we're just going to chat while I cut, because I've got a lot of cutting I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of the Olaf Warm Hugs. Oh, I have enough. This scent's really not strong enough for me. It's a very light mint scent. I just put it in the bathrooms once in a while, but anyway, but yeah, um, somebody requests, I've had a couple people request me showing how I cut my bricks, I know people have shown before, like I've seen videos on it, but before I saw videos, I was, I didn't know, so I was just cutting it, but I'll show you how I do it, um, but somebody requested it yesterday on my last video, or today on my not yet video from yesterday. I think it was Glam Girl. Hey, shout out. So when it's in a full brick like this, 
It's gonna be kind of hard to show. My setup, what I'm doing, what's behind, is like it has like the little ring light thing like on a tripod. And it has like the thing that holds your phone. So that's what I'm working with. So that's why it's kind of hard. Let me try to pull it down. Okay, I have a glass plate. And I use this little knife. I don't know what this is really for, but it's my wife's knife. And it's really sharp. The sharper the knife, the better. Because um, it just cuts easier, cuts smoother. I do keep a butter knife right here. Because I don't keep this out on my desk. Because I have a seven-year-old. And he's, I don't know. But anyway. But yeah. Like, okay. You see the lines? This is where the plastic's coming up. They have like indentions, so I'll cut along the lines to the plastic, number one. So that's what I'm going to do. Try to place under that. So, can y'all see what I'm doing? I don't know. Let me move this plate over for a second. I'm so not organized. Y'all don't care though. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, let's see. So, I'm going to try not to cut myself. Cut along until it hits that plastic, and I just kind of do like this. Just cut, cut, cut. I mean, I'm not like professional with it or anything, but kind of cut the other one. I've gotten into Grey's Anatomy again. I started watching it. I mean, I got all the way up and watching it for what is it? Like 14 years, like since it started. And for some reason, well, I quit watching it for the longest. And then for some reason last night, I turned it back on. Like, I don't know. Y'all probably don't know this about me, but like a couple years ago, I was having like a lot of health problems and I had like seizures and I was in ICU. It was kind of scary for a while. But like, Everything I watched, like, right before that, or, like, during that time, like, I kind of, like, lost my memory, so I didn't remember what happened. This is a good juicy one. Get out of the way. Anyway, so I went back and started watching. And if y'all watch Grey's Anatomy, I went back to the plane crash episode. So I started watching it from that point. I feel like Grey's Anatomy is my element I'm talking about. Anyway, so, yeah, I've been watching it all night last night and all day today. Okay, anyway, so, you see what I did? I cut it. So, watch. You can just pop them on like this. And they pop up. I'm, probably, I'm not going to cut all of these off. I'll probably just cut three. So, you can just pop them out as you need. So, let's set that to the side. This looks like cheese. Okay. So this stamp, I usually uh, do it by itself, so I'll just do it like in threes, and I'll show it what I do. I cut it like this way. I don't think it matters. You can cut it however you want. So I just do that. This one's cut really nice. I love when they cut so smooth. It's satisfying. Okay. So... Cut it into three. Can you see this? Oh, okay. It's cut. And then I just keep it like oops, oops, messed up. And I'll just put it back in there how it was. I don't think I did that. Did you see? Just put it in there so I can just like grab it out. Y'all please don't argue. I'm making a video. So yeah, I do that. So I'm gonna get a couple more. It's so looking harder because like I'm rolling around in my chair. So I got the three. And I'm just gonna put it right back in its little square. Easy, easy. Now the ones that are like a little drier, they're not. Let's see. It can be more frustrating. I don't know if it's like the different oils that are in them that make them different or I don't know. So see, it's cut. And then you just put it back in there. I tend to get the hiccups when I start a video. Let's see. I 
is it not fitting in there? I think I'm missing a little puzzle piece up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, where did she down off camera? I can't see. I'm going to start getting more professional with my videos. I have a real camera and everything. I just uh, I need to learn how to use it. I need to learn how to edit videos. Oops, I just broke a little piece of it. But it just went right back in there. So all these pieces, these pet pieces are cut. So a little piece broke off. But yeah, so I'll just go in and pull those out. If I have any like little random pieces, I'll just throw it in there. So yeah, so now I have three big cubes that are cut ready to go. And then I'm gonna show you one that's a little more chalky. So I'll cut up some of the indigo berry. You'll see what I mean. Like see how depth like it's kind of dusty. Like it's probably okay, so I'm just gonna pop that out. So pretty. Hmm. So this one, I don't mix this either, so, or I haven't. Probably will, though, in the future. Can I even see them? Okay, I'm cutting. I think that's the point, though. But you can cut them in fours. But I think usually, like, a third of it is a good size. And then I'll just throw it right back in there. I'll show you. Like the black raspberry vanilla uh, mixed up with stuff. So when I cut it, well, that cut pretty nice actually. It wasn't too crummy. This one had already cut some, but I'll cut a little bit more. Well, that's probably enough. But okay, like this are like full ones if I'm just going to do that one. And then these are like smaller ones to mix. So, like, that would be like one of these cut in half. Let's see what I'm saying. My video is not professional like some other people. But, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and cut some. I have a little, like, extras. Oop, a little wax. So I'm just going to dust it off into the trash can. It's like a cooking video. I know I'm going to have to have more of the slush gardenia because I'm not going to ever use it by itself, probably. So I'll pop it out. Um, it's just straight up like a grandma for a little scent. No hate to the grandmas. I love them. Okay. With these, they break a little easier, so you gotta be more careful. So, that ended up, one of them ended up breaking. But I will just put that in there. I needed to do this anyway. I have a sore throat for guinea guy cares. Has anybody been sick? I have not been sick and my throat hurts and that was the reason why I'm not gonna get sick. This is like the sickest thing that ever everybody's been so sick this past few months. I'm like it kept pretty good. But like, okay, say I'm going to mix one, I will always, like if I have half of it like crumbles, it's usually like if your knife's not sh sharp enough, it'll crumble more. But um, like if there's like crumbs, like I'll take that and put that in my one reverse. I'm not going to like dump crumbs into my clam shell. I have before, but it's not preferred. I'll make a mess. So yeah, like, you know, just throw them in there. Do it, however. I know what else I need to cut. Let me get that up. I don't want my this other scent to rub off on it. Okay, that's what I'm saying. One of my favorite scents to mix is this luscious lemon, which would be. I feel like I can't swim. Let me see Charlie's room. Back there. Oh. This video is going to be horrible, y'all. Do y'all care? I love y'all. Y'all love me. I bet you. Okay. Anyways, the luscious lemon, which would be like squeezed today, right? And then I do like hazelnut frosting mixed with it. It smells so good and it's so 
like it's so strong and it smells like you're literally baking like lemon cookies or lemon cake it's so good you can use hazelnut frosting but um you can't get this anymore but so like butter pecan and squeeze a day would be the same or squeeze a day and like um vanilla bean buttercream anything like that would be the same i think i have all right i'm not going to use my full bar because i still have some left I'm like this is so boring we just wanted to see how you did it but yeah i showed you with the bricks just go along those little plastic edges and you'll feel the plastic just go slow each one and then pop them out as you need and cut you can some people cut all of them at the same time the whole brick down not me but um anyway so i'm gonna cut these i think my camera's gonna cut off here in just a minute so i want to tell y'all bye but yeah i'm gonna cut up my lemon and my hazelnut frosting and then um up a little bit more and i hope that y'all got something out of this i don't know if this video is going to be any good or not if i put it up then i'm you know i'll pick it up anyway i'm not even going to watch it back y'all know me all right well if y'all have anything else y'all want to see or if you want me to explain something better on how to do it i don't know whatever whatever y'all want okay um i have a haul of some hair stuff i'm gonna do stuff i use on my hair that i ordered anyways okay love y'all whoa what happened Love y'all and I will see y'all next time.